everybody, this is Donnie. I'm here to show you a new tool that I got. It's called a Silhouette Cameo. I have the Cameo 3, and it's a cutter. I am making stickers for my planners with this machine, and it comes with the Silhouette Studio, and I have chosen, I purchased the designer edition of their software. This is the 4.0 version. I have not yet upgraded it. Real quick, I wanted to show you how to set up your page just so you can print um, a copy of stickers or whatever. I want to go through the registration marks process. This process works for me personally with my machine. Your machine may not be exactly like mine. It may not be the same uh, edition. Uh, mine is new. Five weeks ago is when I bought it. And I got mine off of Amazon. The page setup button is this first one on the right hand side of the screen. Again, I'm in designer edition. This little page right here is what I've just clicked for my page setup. The first choice right here is your page size. I choose eight and a half by 11 there are a number of options you can choose depending on what you're using. I'm going to choose the 8.5 by 11 letter size. The width, 8.5, height, 11. So if you want to fine tune that, you can change the measurements in these boxes over here. I want my orientation to be this way, up and down, which is portrait. And my cutting mat down here, this next section, I use a 12 by 12 in my Cameo. So this is all set up so that every time I click on my page setup button, it's already there. I prefer down here to show my print border and to show my cut border. That has come into play a number of times with what I'm working on. The reveal space here just lets you show how much of the background what's on your mat comes through. I like to have mine on a grid. For the grid which you can see inside my page that's the second option up here. I'm going to unclick snap to guides and I want it to show my grid and to show my guides. At this point, there are many other features that you can use. I'm not going to go into that. Other than the color, I have chosen a purpley color for my background grid so that I can see it. At this point, it has not bothered me. I kind of like the color purple, so at the, right now I'll just leave it the way it is. Now, the registration marks. When I click on the third option at the top. This is my registration marks. This is the part where many people have a problem. This is what works for me with my machine. For style, I'm not going to choose off. I want it on. So I'm going to come down here and here's my machine, the Cameo. So I choose type 1. Yours might be different. For the dimensions, as you can see, when I chose that option, a grid appeared at the top of my screen and at the top of my page, I'm sorry, as well as the bottom left-hand corner. These are the crosshatch areas that you don't want to put any of your cutting content or printing content. Um, I have cheated it a little bit down in the bottom left-hand corner and upper right-hand corner and I may show you that cheat later, but all I did was take a little piece of um, sticker paper, cut a square, and cover up this area if I happen to print on some, something that goes into that area. When it registers, when the machine registers, it starts where this first box is right here. Your machine, when you turn it on, it will uh, move the cartridge that holds the blade um, back and forth a little bit and line it up with the, you know, whenever you just turn it on. In between those two blades, and I'll show you this on a different video, is a laser. 
that laser actually goes over these black areas, these three spots on your page. And when it reads it, it goes zzz, zzz, over those areas. And then it travels down to the bottom of the page and it reads this bottom hatch, hash mark, whatever you call that, and then the left one. So it starts up here, reads that one, comes down here, reads the bottom one, and then the left one, and then it travels all the way across your page, and it reads these two. So these are important things that you need to print on your sticker pages if you're making stickers. I just chose type 1 Cameo. My dimensions, my length is 0 .750. This is the length of these hash marks. I don't know what else to call them, registration marks. That's the length. My machine is fine with that length. However, it prefers to read something thicker than what is set at 0 .50. I choose, I usually can nail it by clicking right about here, I choose the 0 .80 option right here for the thickness. What happened is it thickened up these two lines here and here so that when my laser goes over them, it will read it. For the inset, I leave it right where it's at. And the next option here is advanced options. I always click on advanced options and here's where I can actually change these insets a little bit. Every time I come in here and I take my left inset, set, which is the first option, all the way down. 0.394 is the least it will go to. I do the same for the top inset as well as the right inset. This bottom inset I leave alone. Uh, a number of people have said that that works best for them, so I've always just left it the same. As long as I set everything just like this on my page setup, I don't have a problem printing and cutting stickers. I have not had any registration fails since I started doing this as long as I did it this exact way. Now, your machine may be different. It may need to have a thicker line. It may need to have longer length. It may need these options to be set where the defaults were, which you can hit down here to restore. Um, this is the way I prefer to do it because I've had no problem with it. I hope this has helped you. Um, you can always at this point immediately just start making your shapes and run with it. That's how I've been doing it. But it's been a, a lot of fun learning. So I hope this has helped with, their, with your registration marks and your page setup for making stickers. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave me a comment down at the bottom. I'll do my best to help you. But again, I'll say my best bet for answering questions is on YouTube. Y'all have done a tremendous job at making videos and helping me. And that's what I'm trying to do is just pass it on. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's helped. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.